Here we are at Soldier Field for this matchup between the Saints and the Bears. You don't want to hear about these quarterbacks managing the game. And here's why I hate it, Jim. Because no matter how they play, they'll say, if they win, they'll go, well, he managed the game well. And then if they lose, well, he can't make enough plays. He's just a game manager, so no matter what he, so no matter what these quarterbacks do, it will, it will not be good enough for the fans and the media who cover it. Waves his arm, and he's going to make a fair catch. Hester's going to get set in the slot for this snap. He'll go to the left. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second and two. Hester's taking the handoff. Trying to find an opening to the right. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Nickel formation here for the defense. Takes the stab from the shotgun. Throwing now to his left. Unable to complete that one. And that's a very quick three and out. The defense comes out in the nickel from the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. And a completion this time. Well, I like the decision that time to go for it on fourth and short. You, know, you got some big old hogs up front. They're pretty strong. So it's fourth down. Go for it. And you pick it up. Hand off. And they bring it down at the 36-yard line. No game on the play. Formation for the defense here. Get ready. Red 38. Red 38. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. On second and ten. The handoff to Matt Forte. Breaks free. Has some space to work with. Breaks out of that one. Good job on the ground there by Matt Forte. I think when I was playing, anytime we crossed the 50 yard line, it was kind of like a big sigh of relief because I knew now that there were a lot of things that could take place. I could afford to take sacks. I could uh, afford to be a little more aggressive. Let's see how the offense reacts to this. The wide receiver in motion. First and 10, staying with the running game on first down. What a good job by the defensive player there, just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. The Saints defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel on second down and five, challenging the defenders to the right side. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Jim, that pass ends up incomplete because the defender, he just jarred the football loose with that hit. Nice job. Get that shoulder into the receiver, knock that football out, and get it to the ground. The defense comes out in the nickel. From the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Ball is caught. This has been a nice little drive by the offense. They started out in bad field position. Look at them now inside the red zone. Let's see if they can pay it off. This play set up by the long gainer. Get ready. 
Halfback sent in motion. Halfway through this first quarter now. And he's intercepted. He's in the clear. This defensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude. He keeps going after this offense, and finally he gets the interception inside uh, their own 20-yard line and stops the offense from getting any points. Colston's lined up in the slot. Thomas handed the football. The tackle was made. Rams move from the tight end position to the slot. He's headed right. Gains 15. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards. They're able to move the chains after that last run. The Saints now move the chains. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Working that left side. Inhales the pass. Well, this man-to-man -man coverage, bad job by the defense. The defensive back so slow, no chance of keeping up with the wide receiver. To the long game, let's see what they do here. And he's taken down. Well, the quarterback's got to see this blitz when it's coming. And if he checks to an audible to get rid of the football quicker or give himself extra protection, that will help him a lot. Looking long to Colston. The catch is made in the touchdown. Saints. Not many quarterbacks in this league can throw that type of pass. Throw it high in the air, far down the field, and have it just drop in there right on the target. Beautiful throw for the touchdown. Makes the PAT. The Bears are ready to return the kick. Tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. First down. Offense readying for the snap. They'll go ground. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Hester's lined up now as a slot receiver. It's a second and 13. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. No one in sight. Has the grab. Touchdown. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. Inside of the uprights. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. And they have him covered up and bring him down inside of the 15. is in the backfield. Quarterback flips it to the running back. For about five. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards.
And here we have second down. Screen play is on. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. They've got a first down now after that catch. Throws to the right. The Saints get a first down. Hey, nice route by the wide receiver that time. Good throw by the quarterback. It reminds me of the days with the Miami Dolphins. Paul Warfield running those corner routes and Bob Greasy putting it right on target. That reception gave them the first down. Jimmy Graham with the grab. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. And he makes the catch. Offside defense. The defender got caught in the neutral zone right there. That'll cost him five. Yeah, he's a little too anxious. You know, all these defenders, they got one thing in common. You know what that is? They hate quarterbacks. <laughs> they want to get there. A little too nervous there. Gets him caught Offside. in the neutral zone. Defense. Players from both sides making it. Appeal, but the officials saw it on the defense. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up the two point conversion. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. Saints ready here for the kickoff. Signals right away, fair catch. Coming up. From the shotgun. Going for the home run. Holds it in. What a call and what a catch. When you can throw the football that high, that accurate, and man, it is beautiful. Right on the target. Nice catch. What a play. Hester's in the slot. Now first and ten. Go run it. Here's the handoff. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets it a few yards. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield as they go ground here. Right side gets past the first wave. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. He's in for the score. What a tremendous throw by the quarterback that time for the touchdown. What confidence he has in that arm. Small window, very little room to throw that football in there. He didn't worry about it, fired it, got the touchdown. Extra point is good. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it.
The Bears with a nickel look here on defense. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Ball's going to be incomplete. A hit knocks the ball out. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. The Saints lined up. Everybody split out wide. He's got the touchdown. One thing a defense doesn't want to see, yards after the catch, yak. And that's what we saw here. The quarterback put it right on target. The receiver is running full speed, catches it, and takes it all the way for a touchdown. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but Phil, they fail to get the two. Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It's a terrible decision. Now we'll find out that one point comes back to Hanna. The receiving team has the recovery. formation here for the defense to Marshall and they can't connect well for some reason this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover two that's not the spot you want to go you want to look underneath or right down the middle second down coming up here comes the wide receiver in motion Forte is going to take the handoff now going to lose yards here. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Throws the pass. Throws a strike. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Perfect defense called that time. They allowed the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. Games 19. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is intercept it. He stacked up at that point. Wonderful job by the defense that time. They stayed after it. And inside their own 20, they finally come up with the play. They get the interception, and they keep the other team from getting points on the board. From the gun, Drew Brees ready for the snap. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Oh, should have had it. All you have to do is watch the head of the receiver. When they drop footballs, usually it's because you can see their head move the other way before the football gets there. That's what happened this time, and it's a drop pass. The Bears' defense now is going to go nickel. Mid-second quarter. He'll fire it out to the left. He's in for the touchdown. Nothing like it for a quarterback, I'll tell you that. I loved it. Throw a little short pass and just root your guy on and watch him score a touchdown. Pretty exciting stuff. Well, this works out about 40% of the time. If you talk about momentum, that turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time.
the defense comes out into nickel. First and 10, Hester's got it on the handoff. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. They give it to the back, and he's running off tackle. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Well, this defense all over that play. They tackled the runner for a loss. Now we're going to have third long. Advantage goes to the defense. It's third down coming up. Third and 11. Marshall's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run, you fake it, easy completion down the field. And we've reached the two minute warning in this one. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. And out of the shotgun. Heaving it down the field. And it's incomplete. Yeah, this defender probably can block a lot of shots in basketball games, too. That's a, just a wonderful job. Good timing, and he swats the football away for the incompletion. Dime look for the defense on this play. To Marshall. And they can't connect. They call that the moment of truth. It's a beautiful throw down the field, but the defensive back, he waits until it's time to make that jump. He defends the pass. What a good job by the defensive back. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and 10. Looking across the middle, the play. Good job by the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven, but the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? First down, following the long play. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Touchdown and drawing close. Has a nice touchdown there, and you chip it away at that lead. Try to get into the minds of the opponent. Will they get tight? If you hear the word choke, yeah, I think they could be choking over there on the other side. Look out. And the point after is good. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. Face first down. Breeze in shotgun formation. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Gain of 16. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. First down here after the completion. Looking to the right side and throwing. A foot race to the end zone. If you got a defensive back that's scared to death and and not going to give up the big play. You've got to run things like this. The out route, nice route by the wide receiver and a good throw by the quarterback. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Out of the shotgun formation. Throws to the right. Caught. He's brought down. 
When you run that drag route across the field, it is not as easy as it looks. You're running fast. You have to catch the football right in stride, and you cannot see what's in front of you. That pass play picked up only four. Second down and six coming up. Breeze hits Lance Moore with that pass. Shrugs off the first hit. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. The Saints come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. Well, that pass is incomplete, Jim, but that's just a terrible job by the quarterback. When they're running the slant route, just throw it right at their stomach. Saints are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. Going across the middle, Breeze gets it to Jimmy Graham. So that's not going to get it done here, and the offense is going to turn it over on downs. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? That was just bad play calling, bad execution, and go to the sideline. That's where you deserve to be. Lined up in the backfield. First and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Sticks to his hands. Well, this defense, cover four, where four defensive backs are back there deep. It stops all the big passes down the field. But look at these crossing routes. Wide open. Hit them and let them catch and run. And you still get the big plays. Here for the defense. Loads it up. It's going deep. And it's incomplete. Well, they go for the bomb, but the defensive backfield was not fooled. Yeah, they were all over at that time. And they just, that was like shadow defense. Wherever the receiver was going, the defense was right next to him. Great job. The receiver in the slot. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Pass complete, and he is tackled at the 44. The Bears call a timeout and are left now with only one. Here's the first snap after the big play. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. That time the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time in double coverage, he...
Went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Bavaro, very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. Ready for intermission. First, one more play. To Marshall. What a catch. Touchdown. And what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver. But the receiver, big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. Driving extra point is good. That does it for the first half. Saints trailing this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Bears lead by one. They're lining up here for the onside kick. That ball did not travel 10 yards on the onside kick, which is why the flag came out. Yeah, it, it, it took a funny bounce. They were really unlucky that time. It was They caught him by surprise, but the fact that it took that little uh, crazy hop kept it from going 10 yards. receivers are bunched up and now here's the first snap of the second half he makes the catch gains 11 I like this show some patience don't try to get it all in one play pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score They've got a first down now after that catch. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Well, the way the rules are in the NFL now, you can't hit the receivers, you can't hit the quarterback. And if you give the quarterback this kind of time, he is always going to find an open receiver. That reception gave them the first down. Looking to the right side and throwing. Gain of seven. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. Breeze is going to take it from the shotgun. Trying to work that left side. Makes the catch. Touchdown. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when your receiver has got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. The Saints line up for the extra point. Count it. The Bears are ready to return the kick. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. Forte lined up in the backfield. First and ten to the ground here. It's away from the stack.
Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back, they need to make a big play here. First down here after the run. Throws to the right. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. After the incomplete pass, it brings up touchdown. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. The Bears will move in front with the extra point. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Be gold, ready to kick it. Darren Sproles with a chance to return this kickoff. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. defensive backs out on the field for this one he's scrambling now looking for an open receiver on the right we see it so often nowadays all quarterbacks moving around the pocket that time he gets outside the pocket but as he looks down the field nowhere to throw it nobody open just another incomplete pass the Saints come to the line with five wideouts and no one in the backfield. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Breaks free. They pounce on him there. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. First down on the way. Breeze in shotgun formation. Ball comes out. They recover their own fumble. A timeout charge to the offense. Nice job by the offense that time, even though they fumbled the football quick enough and smart enough to get on it right away. Let's go. The defense got to the quarterback, and the offense is backed up here on second down. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Not much the offense can do in a situation like this. Third and long, what you probably will have to do is either surprise them with a run or throw it short and hope somebody can make a play and pick up a first down. receivers stacked up on this play third down and 14 looking to the right side and throwing balls thrown incomplete great coverage there by the defense defensive coordinators love this situation don't they third and long they can do just about anything and it's going to work and they stop the offense that time The Saints with an empty backfield look here. The formation here, shotgun. Let's 
Ooh, they failed to pick up the first, and the ball will go back to the other side. Man, you got to be smarter than that. You can't go for it every single time on fourth and long. There is a thing they have in the NFL. It's called a punt. Do it more often. Nickel formation for the defense here. Hester's going to secure the handoff. Gain of six. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Two tight ends on the field here. It's a second and four. Throws to the right. And he's almost intercepted. Looking at third down. Ball's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Looks like they'll go three and out on this series. Hester's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Let's go. Break the up. Break the up. Three. Three. Out of the gun. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. Keep the momentum on your side. you got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. Lined up in the backfield. They better hurry to get the snap. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Forte's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Second and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. A takeaway. Spins out of the tackle. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it, but it looks like it could be a major injury, and I just, well, I hope the best. First down here, the give, running to his right. He's got a little bit of daylight here. What a run by Thomas. Running backs who can pick up extra yards, they are so valuable. You can't always block everybody to the ground, 
The running back's got to do it himself sometimes. Nice job there by the running back. Rolls is in the backfield. Single back set. Spins out of the defender's clutches. That second down coming up. And the give to Pierre Thomas. Makes the tackle after a pickup of 15. Good job by the running back that time. Finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. And as the third quarter comes to a close off Lake Michigan, we'll take a short break before beginning the fourth here in Chicago. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Another handoff. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Thomas lined up in the backfield. Second down and 13. Right back to him one more time. In these type of situations when you're losing the game, it's third and long. Don't try to be a hero because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. Then you really will be in trouble. The Saints come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Drop back, shotgun formation, challenging the defenders to the right side. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The Saints come to the line with an empty backfield. The throw to the left. Challenges the coverage and has the completion. I think the coach took a little risk that time going forward on fourth and short. Fourth and short in the NFL has turned into one tough proposition, but a good job that time getting it. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Sproles, middle, and they bring him down at the 33-yard line. Thomas lined up in the backfield. Play action. He had no time to get set. Not a good job that time by the quarterback. Didn't scan the field well enough. He had an open man. He did not see him, and he just throws the football away. Mounting a serious drive. Snap back to the quarterback. Out of the gun. At it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. He's a man. He's a man. 
Watson's moved away from the tight end position to now a receiver in the slot. This is going to set up a change of possession. Situations like this sometimes can cost you the game. You're down in the second half. Why would you go for it on fourth down in this situation? You don't get it. That decision might cost you this football game. They come to the line of scrimmage first down. Let's go. The quarterback will hand it off. Good piece of tackling. When you have a defense, it's not playing good techniques. They're selling out, overplaying plays while you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on the defensive side. Hester's lined up in the slot. Second down and four. Looking to the right side and throwing. They tackle him for a loss. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line. And sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Third and six. Throws to the right. Makes the reception. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Hester's lined up now as a slot receiver. Playoff. They'll go shotgun here. It's intercepted. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. Moore's in the slot. Takes the staff from the shotgun. Looking to scramble. The defense gets the sack. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Trying to plow ahead. Quarterback giving himself up. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Saints team official. The staff wasn't saying much about the injury other than it's not severe enough to keep him out of this one. So expect to see him back on the field shortly, guys. What a piece of running by Darren Sproles. Darren Sproles reminds me of a pinball, a pinball machine. He can bounce all the things and still find ways to run around other guys and get big yards. That long gain sets them up here on this play. They send the tight end in motion.
First and ten. Leading on that running attack again here on first down. Gains maybe five. It's always good for the quarterback to really do a good job faking the pass right before the draw play. Get the defensive lineman up the field, get the linebackers dropping back for pass, and there's an open gap that the running back took advantage of. formation here for the defense. Second down and five. Running away from the pressure. the first down. Jim, the defense gives up the first down that time inside the red zone, but there's only so many things the offense can do. Let's see if they can hold them. The Saints are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. Can the kicker handle the pressure? Timeout called. The Saints now with a chance to go ahead here in the fourth with this field goal attempt. And the kick is good for three. You got to take advantage of good field position. The offense doesn't do it that time. I know they get three points out of it. Nice kick. But still, a letdown for the offense. I can only imagine how powerless...